How you doing? And welcome back, Be Terrific TV. Dow Reed here, and I'm here at the Data Color Booth with David Tolby, at one of the one of the greatest color management companies in the world. They actually are. He said they're responsible for my tie matching my suit, but I thought I was responsible for that one, David. <laughs> Well, let's just say the majority of the world's color matching for the textile industry is done with data color tools and data color formulation. But that's not what you and I do for a living. You and I worry about things like the move from HD to 4K, the move from Rec. 709 to 2020, or the move from 8-bit uh, per channel to high-bit uh, capture. Those, those are our nightmares, right? Right. So, Dave, tell me exactly, with, the, with everything going to 4K and the different resolution, the different bits, the different depth, what does data color exactly do? Well, what we try to do is the same thing for everybody, but you have to do it in different ways. We're well known in the photo industry, still imaging, for our color management. There, there's the ICC standard, and you can apply profiles, and so we, we know how to calibrate uh, computer monitors in our sleep. The question is, what do you do with a video monitor that doesn't have a video card to put a LUT into? What do you do with a, a, a no application to apply color management in? So our answer to that, and we're announcing this at NAB here today, is uh, a product called uh, Spider HD. And that is this metal case and everything that's in it. So Spider HD consists of um, the world's first software application to calibrate both computer monitors and reference displays and field displays, and for that matter, televisions. So um, that's in here, it's buried at the bottom, so I'll start with the other tools. Uh, this strange little device right here is Data Color's Spider Cube. It's our least expensive and most difficult to describe product. <laughs> if you shoot in RAW, and this could be black magic or camera red, or it could be you know RAW still imaging, you can use this tool to capture the light source of any location that you're shooting in. It'll, it'll capture your primary and secondary lights. It'll show you card black versus absolute black. It'll show you specular highlights in the chrome ball versus primary and secondary whites and grays. With that information, there's a whole lot you can do. You can gray balance your image. All in this little cube. It does all, all of that? Little cube, and it's spectrally neutral, so it does it under any light source very consistently. Wow. So, so what we're going to do with this is take shoot this at the beginning of every shot and then every time this comes up on screen you're going to color match this you're going to balance it set your exposure and your white balance to this and that will give you consistent color if you're shooting a football game and the sun goes down and the lights come on uh, you're getting paid for the logo colors and you want them to match from start to finish and you don't care about the pretty colors from the sunset you want neutrality so a tool like this will give you that neutrality at a sports event It'll give you that neutrality between the different uh, locations in a wedding venue. So this is great for still. If you're shooting raw, you can use the exact same technique with this for video. Now, if you're not shooting raw, then what you need to do is get it right in the camera. And so this tool does that. It does it a couple of different ways. This is the Data Color Spider Checker. You'll recognize this as being a color target. Correct. But as well as being able to shoot this and build a color calibration and apply that to either your still images or your video, you can also flip the cards on this over. Each of these replaceable cards has a gray face. If you flip them both, you end up with a gray target, and that's a superb tool for, uh, for gray balancing a camera. So here's the problem. If you want to balance a camera, and this is particularly critical, with a DSLR, you're actually shooting um, JPEG grade video and with JPEG grade video you don't have the luxury of adjusting in RAW afterwards because you don't have the Correct. bit depth. Correct. That's one of our issues here, lack of bit depth. So with a target like this you can gray balance by you know using the camera's white balance button right. on this. You can also set exposure because this is 50% gray so this is a perfect exposure tool. Mm. Uh, when we're done we even have people who end up using this as their uh, sound sync. When they get done they simply uh, run it as a clapper. So there's, there's various <laughs> things you can do with this tool. But uh, the point being that this is perfect for camera calibration under many circumstances, but also uh, great for balancing when you don't have the luxury of, of doing it in RAW. Right. So those are the two capture components. Uh, this is the Spider 4, and this is coming with a new piece of software which has a fork in the workflow. The first thing it asks you when you launch the software is, would you like to calibrate a computer display? If so, we go through our standard computer display calibration process. It says, would you like to calibrate a reference display or a TV? If you choose that route, it runs you through 
our multi-step calibration process for reference displays. Now, reference displays have no mechanism for calibration other than adjustment of the controls on the device. So what this does is it actually measures the interrelated functions, the brightness, the contrast, the okay. color, the tint, the white point, it even does sharpness. Wow. And um, Lee Veris, who's worked in Hollywood for many years, when, uh, when he first tried this product out in advance of release, he said, you know, I knew I needed monitor calibration for my computer displays, but I had my own kind of visual technique for video reference displays, and I didn't think anything could beat that. But the fact is, it's got more variables than the human eye can really deal with. Right. Using this to calibrate reference displays actually does a better job than even a Hollywood expert's visual technique. Not only color, but sharpness. Sharpness is another issue. Uh, as, as we move into different types of displays, our eyes deceived as to what sharpness really means. <laughs> right, right. 4K, there's a lot there in 4K, and you're not talking about, you know, artificial crunch sharpness, you're talking about the actual pixels in that image at full resolution. So, so getting the sharpness right on 4K is a different technique than it is with a low resolution monitor. Seems more detailed. Well, exactly, because your, your eye is, is being fooled. I don't know which one's fooling it, the low res <laughs> display or the high res one, but it's very much seeing a different phenomena. If, if we look at your tie, which has three or four levels of detail, and we look at that, you know, in Standard def, where all we can see is the big blue stripes. Life right. is simple, you can just see the big blue stripes. Right. HD, we're going to see the little cross stripes. Now, here's the problem with 4K. We're going to see the actual fabric weave on that tie in full detail, and you have to have the sharpness set correctly, or that's going to do one of two things. Either it's going to be over sharpened and look artificial, right. or it's going to be under sharpened and you're simply going to lose that detail yeah. that, that you could get out of 4K. I, I believe uh, the term is soft. <laughs> well, is that the technical name for that? <laughs> Under sharpened, that's, that's, that sounds like a political term out of Washington, doesn't it? <laughs> Skimming the, the political topic, the, uh, the answer is Data Color is releasing this product today. It's available through distribution uh, worldwide, and the price point on this is $349 US. So now for the $349, they get all three components? And if they buy today, I'll throw in a uh, special, no, this is not late night <laughs> advertising. No, you get the kit, you get the case, you get the whole deal for that price, which uh, considering that the Spider 4 Elite, just the monitor calibration software with that is, is 249. So the idea is to really twist people's arm to get the full calibration kit, because our goal after all is to get you to calibrate everything. Everything, everything. We have all the calibration tools, color correction, we even sharpness or lack thereof. Um, <laughs> We, we're fixing all that here, data color. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Dave. Thanks for uh, you know taking time out of your busy day here at NAB. Live from Las Vegas, we'll see you soon. Be terrific.